going on guys? EJ here bringing you another daily shave. So we're going to do a hardware review today and it's going to be on straight razors. And this is the West Coast shaving. This is carbon steel. This is a 5 8 razor and this is a full hollow ground razor. Which means for anyone new to wet shaving or just trying to get into straight razors, this thing will sing. It'll give you great audible feedback and it'll tell you if it is cutting and cutting properly. So we're going to go ahead and use this today and this is just a simple black acrylic handle so nothing fancy. This is honestly catered towards someone who really wants to get into straight razor shaving and doesn't know where to start and it doesn't break the bank. I believe they're on sale right now for $115 which is an absolute steal and these are made in and it says right here, Solingen, Germany, right here. I don't know the exact manufacturer of this. If I do, or if Abe, if you're watching this, please put it down below in the description about who manufactures these. So we're gonna go ahead and roll with that today. And let me wipe off my glasses real quick. <clears throat> Software is just going to be a simple triple milled soap in this shaving mug with the West Coast Shaving Beacon Pure Badger Shave Brush right here. Uh, I like using the Pure Badger because it is a little more scritchier and it's easier to scoop out, or sorry, get more soap off of a puck versus with softer tips. And then for the aftershave, an oldie but goodie, Brute Attitude. Good, great guy from the West Coast Shaving Channel, Eric Neri, if you guys know him, the one with the 30 minute videos. <laughs> so. You, you know how I feel about that, Eric. But great guy, he gifted this to me many moons ago. This is an excellent aftershave. So let's put the face. And right off the bat, before opening the straight razor, the packaging was nice and sealed. The blade was nice and oiled so it doesn't, you know, rust over if it's like, you know, sitting there because now it's not everyday buy the straight razor so you gotta be able to coat it and mineral oil, so that way you can preserve the life of the actual steel and you don't get any rust. So you can see right here, soap pucks in the bottom. And the reason being I like to use a triple milled soap for a new blade is because triple milled soaps are just great at having excellent slickness. And rather than focusing on cushion for this blade, because I really like, that's how I like to feel for the edge and having a very slick thin lather, which you're going to see through this video. I am not trying to build a thick cushiony lather because this is an edge that I haven't tried because this is new for me from the West Coast Shaving brand because I've never used one of their straight razors before. And we're going to see how it does. So you can see it's a little more on the thinner side. And for the pure badger brush, especially if those of you who have thick curly hair, this will be great for lifting it up and getting out any ingrowns because it does have that scritch. So as you can see, it's a little more thinner on this, on the lather spectrum. But one thing I love about triple milled soaps is you can load very heavily on it and not worry about using up a lot because triple milleds last a very long time. So here we go. This is a very thin lather, but super slick, very slick. <clears throat> Here we go, let's see if this is shave ready out of the box, okay? So right away, you can hear that audible feedback. And we are removing hair. And this is fine, this is actually one of the more comfier edges I've had for these straight razors. So, <clears throat> the edge is holding up quite well. However, if you have thick, and I mean like thick, like lumberjack kind of hair, this edge may have a little hard time getting through that. 
but I can feel it on my face. It's cutting. Overall, a good first pass. Because for those of you new to the straight razor or wet shaving scene, you'll have a lot of people say, you know, many, you know, factory edge blades are not that great or they just don't do as of a good of a job. And I can attest to that. I have experienced some pretty bad edges in my time getting it straight from the factory. But this is going to be subjective. I can't say what works for me, what will work for you. But so far, this is cutting. You know, it is cutting, you know, <clears throat> and it is rather smooth. But I know if I put my own edge on it, I can take it to be a little better, in my humble opinion. But if you are new to straight razor shaving, don't want to break the bank, you want to try it out, and it's something that's shaved ready out of the box, this will do it. It is cutting, as you can clearly see. <clears throat> Because only you, as you get into straight razor shaving, you are going to know what works for your face. And please, please, gents, ladies and gentlemen, if you straight razor shave, I highly recommend you stick for it for at least a month. Because everyone tries to go off for this whole first-hand experience of, you know, oh, I got the best shave for the first time in my life using a straight razor. I'm telling you right now, your first shave is probably not going to go so good because you are learning but you have to stick with this particular tool for at least, the very least, a month before you can honestly give yourself, you know, the benefit of the doubt whether or not it's for you or not. So you can hear the hair being removed. And as always, with a new blade, I do not chase the BBS smooth shave. I just go for the uh, the damn fine shave. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let me feel around real quick. Let me let the face see whatever spots as always. Pretty much a very easy, straight razor shave. It cuts. It has a decent edge, in my humble opinion. However, this is meant for the new guy, all right? I know the veterans out there who prefer, you know, their certain edges and their, you know, the way they have their things. But like I said, if you're looking from the outside in and you want to get into straight razor shaving, this is not a bad buy at all. This is a nice, very simple, straight razor. Straight to the point, nothing fancy. Regular black acrylic scales. It's carbon steel, so it'll hold a nice edge for a decent while. Full hollow, giving you that excellent feedback. But here it is right here. I'm just gonna go ahead, so me, uh, I get a tissue and I'll wipe in between the scales. I'll wipe, even though they're not wet, I just have a tendency to do it just because that's how I take care of my straight razors. And then I'll get a different towel because this is for the face and this is for my straight razors. I'll go ahead and I'll just gently, don't press on anything, just stroke back and forth to get it completely dry. 
Then I'll go to my strap right here and then we'll do that's 10 round trips. And then for the leather strap, go ahead and just rub your palms along it real quick. There you go, and it's ready for your next shave. So 10 round trips on both the, le the canvas and then the leather side. And then we used the West Coast Shaving 5 Ace Full Hollow Ground Straight Razor. Excellent for beginners. If you're a veteran and you want to get into honing, this would be a great starter for you right here because at it's a quality razor. I wouldn't recommend, a lot of guys say, you know, you can try it with cheap razors. I mean, you can, it works, but if you really want to get familiar with good steel, this is one way to do it right here for the veterans out there. We used the Pure Badger Beacon Brush with a triple milled soap right here. And then we're just going to polish it off with the aftershave. Oh yeah. Well, that wraps up my review for today. Thank you, West Coast Shaving, for having me here. Take care, and I will see you guys in the next video.